All right, so in this problem, I have two to the power of x minus one is equal to three to the power of x plus one. So I wanna find the value of x here. So for my solution, I first start with two to the power of x minus one is equal to three to the power of x plus one. Now I'm actually gonna take the log on both sides. So now I have log two to the power of x minus one is equal to log three to the power of x plus one. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, we move this exponent of b to the front. So this is equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log two to the power of x minus one, I can move x minus one to the front. And log three to the power of x plus one, I can move x plus one to the front. So now I have x minus one times log two is equal to x plus one times log three. Now, if I distribute these two, I have x times log two minus log two is equal to x times log three plus log three. Now I'm gonna subtract x times log two on both sides and add log two on both sides, or sorry, subtract log three on both sides. So then these two cancel out, these two cancel out, and I have negative log two minus log three is equal to x times log three minus x times log two. Now, if I factor out x from here, I get x times log three minus log two is equal to negative log two minus log three. If I divide both sides by log three minus log two, I have x is equal to negative log two minus log three over log three minus log two. Now, if I multiply both sides by negative one, I get x is equal to log three plus log two over log two minus log three. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have 11 to the power of nine X plus 11 is equal to nine to the power of 11. So I wanna find the value of X here. So for my solution, First start with 11 to the power of 9x plus 11 is equal to 9 to the power of 11. Now if I take the log on both sides, I have log 11 to the power of 9x plus 11 is equal to log 9 to the power of 11. If I have something in the form log a to the power of b, move this x1 to b to the front. So this is equal to b times log a. So I can move 9x plus 11 to the front and I can move 11 to the front. So now I have 9x plus 11 times log 11 is equal to 11 times log nine. Now if I divide both sides by log 11, these two cancel out and I have 9x plus 11 is equal to 11 times log nine over log 11. And now log nine, this is equal to 0 0.9542 and log 11 
This is equal to 1.0414. So now if I plug these values in for log 9 and log 11, I have 9x plus 11 is equal to 11 times 0 0.9542 over 1.0414. Now, 0 0.9542 over 1.0414, that's going to equal 11 times 0 0.9163 which is equal to 9x plus 11 is equal to 10.0789. So I have this minus 11. So now I have 9x is equal to negative 0.9211, meaning x is equal to negative 0 0.1023. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 4 minus 25 is equal to 0. So I'm going to find the value of x here. So for my solution, first start with x to the power of 4 minus 25 is equal to 0. Now, I'm going to rewrite x to the power of 4 as x to the power of 2 times 2, and I'm going to rewrite 25 as 5 squared. If I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So in this case, x to the power of 2 times 2, I can rewrite as x to the power of 2 to the power of 2. Now I have this minus phi to the power of 2 is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is x squared and b is 5. So I have x squared plus 5 times x squared minus 5 is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have x squared plus 5 is equal to 0, and I have x squared minus 5 is equal to 0. So for x squared plus 5 equals 0, I'm going to subtract 5 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I have x squared is equal to negative 5. Now, if I take the square root on both sides, I get the square root of x squared is equal to square root of negative 5. Now the square root of x squared is simply x, so I have x is equal to the square root of 5 times the square root of negative 1. And if you guys already know, the square root of negative 1 is simply equal to i. So I have x is equal to square root of 5i. And this is going to be plus or minus because the square root of it is going to be positive or negative. So this is going to be x is equal to square root of 5i and x is equal to negative square root of 5i. So these are my two solutions. Now, we have another equation here, x squared minus 5 equals 0. And to solve this, I'm going to add 5 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I have x squared is equal to positive 5. Now to solve this, I'm going to take the square root on both sides. The square root of x squared is x, this, and I have this positive or negative square root of 5. So, my four solutions to this problem are x is equal to the square root of 5, x is equal to negative square root of 5, x is equal to square root of 5i, and x is equal to negative square root of 5i.